Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Diana O'Carroll. This week I've been checking out body art to answer this question. This is Bruce Rogers of Milpitas, California. I've always wondered why tattoos didn't disappear over the years. So what is it that keeps tattoos in their place? Hi, I'm Neil Walker. I'm a consultant dermatologist in Oxford. Tattoos, by definition, are permanent marks produced on the skin by the injection of material by a puncture wound. As a dermatologist, I see a variety of tattoos, not only those which have been applied by a so-called tattoo artist, either a professional or amateur, sober or drunk. Occasionally, I see people who've had a black henna tattoo where a dye called PPD is used, which can cause nasty skin reactions. A properly applied henna tattoo is not a tattoo at all. Rather, it's a dyeing process using the paste to produce a design in the dead outer layers of the skin. The design fades as the skin regenerates, and that is one of the clues as to why tattoos applied by puncture wounds are permanent. Our skin is continually regenerating as the outer layers or epidermis grow from basal cells at the bottom to dead, horny layer at the top over a period of six to eight weeks. Pigments implanted beneath the growing layer are in the dermis or supporting layer of the skin and are not removed by the natural process of skin turnover. The body recognises pigment granules as foreign material, and there are cells whose function is to remove such material by engulfing them and transporting it to the lymph glands. These cells are unable to engulf pigment granules over a certain size, and therefore the body seems to surround them at a microscopic level by a thin layer of fibrous or scar tissue, and they become permanently trapped in the dermis. The removal process continues slowly, and tattoos may fade to a degree over time, with different colours fading at different rates, depending on the particle size of the pigment. In summary, tattoos are permanent because the pigment particles are injected under the growing layer of the skin and the body's mechanisms for dealing with foreign materials can't remove the particles over a certain size. Tattoos stay in the skin because they are held at a deeper level by what is effectively scar tissue. And tattoos are not new. Just to throw a bit of archaeology in there, the 5,000-year-old Iceman Ertzi famously has 57 carbon, or soot, tattoos spread about his body. There's evidence Egyptians were being tattooed 4,000 years ago, the pre-Inca civilizations 1,500 years ago, the Romans and Greeks did it, and there are some hints that the Vikings and Aztecs were at it. And indications are that the Japanese were too, possibly 5,000 years ago, at the same time as Ertzi. So with that long history of tattooing, here's something else with a deep past. Hi, my name is Mike. I'm from Oregon in the United States. I realize that animals have a very sophisticated immune system, T-cells, lymph nodes, etc. But I've often wondered how plants protect themselves from bacteria and viruses. Thank you. Do plants have immunity to pathogens? Help us answer our next question of the week by emailing chris at thenakedscientist.com or by writing on our forum at thenakedscientist.com forward slash forum. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the EPSRC, the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.